I'll tell you, between all the hill training, between just all the people and just the camaraderie amongst runners in Atlanta, it's a place like no other. I mean, the fact that I can walk out of my door and just, you know, I live on the west side of town and I can hit the quarry trail. I can go and, you know, get out to Atlantic Station and get onto the, you know, Midtown into the Beltline. It's just, it's just some great scenery and it's, you know, it's never the same. Yeah, you know, it gives the, the new runner a place to feel safe. Um, so they're not trying to run on the sidewalks or run on the streets. Um, it gives them ability just to be out there with others, run at your own pace, whether it's you're running five minute miles, six minute miles, or 10 to 11 minute miles. It gives you the ability to see different parts of Atlanta, uh, but also feel safe while you're doing it. You know, the Centennial Olympic Park is where we're actually, you can see from some of the construction that we've got going on right now, we're actually um, giving it a facelift. Um, it's, we've been doing it for the past year and a half or so, and uh, come December, um, we'll be complete with the project. And you can see a lot of the new designs in the facility, getting closer to uh, College Football Hall of Fame, opening up the Baker Street corner for um, the, over by the Children's uh, Museum, and just paying different respects to different uh, sports within uh, you know, the Olympics from the 1996 games. I think as we start getting more and more people to come to the park and enjoy for some of the events that we do at the Georgia World Congress Center, some of the festivals, the concerts, the different road races that we host here, and starting to see a lot of the things that are happening here, you know, it's a reminder about what really happened here you know, uh, back in 1996. And certainly um, you know, running was a big piece of that with the marathon and all the different other uh, running races that were there. So my first marathon was back in 2015, and it was the, the Publix Marathon. And um, I had been training really hard for that one. Um, and uh, the day before the marathon, looked at the weather forecast, and it was called for torrential rains the entire time. So I went online and started researching, because I hadn't really done a training run or a long distance training run in that kind of weather before. And I started seeing all these things about putting bag, plastic bags around your feet and running in a poncho and things like that. And all I wanted to do was, you know, it was my goal, it was my first marathon to break four hours. So I took all these different advices. I had Publix bags around my feet, you know, in my shoes. I had the poncho on and I was just trying to stay as dry as I could. And lo and behold, I, I ran a 352, which my first marathon, um, looking back at it, was, was pretty awesome. Atlanta, Running City, USA.